everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Lotus Bloom dishcloths. These are so pretty and easy to make, and they're a great way to use some of your dishcloth yarn leftovers. And for this project, you'll need a five millimeter H crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and some cotton dishcloth yarn. Um, for these, I used uh, ecru, like an off-white natural ecru color, and then I made round two and the edging round in a color. However, you can make these any color you want using anything you may have on hand. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use the same ecru that I used for the other ones, and I don't have a red one yet, so I was going to do mine in red. So let's get started. Each one of these dishcloths measures about seven inches across. And I also wanted to mention that you can use them as a decorative trivet as well, and they make really lovely gifts. We're going to begin with our ecru yarn. I'm gonna make these how they appear here. However, you can do the colors any way you like. Okay, so we're gonna begin by putting a slip knot on our hook. To make a slip knot, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, and bring up a loop. Go ahead and tighten that on. Next, we're going to chain six. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. In the chain farthest from our hook, we're going to work a slip stitch. I'm going to put the yarn over here so that it doesn't get in the way. So insert your hook into this chain farthest from your hook and bring up a loop. Bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. We now have the ring that we're going to be working our stitches into. Okay? For the first round, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to work 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the center of the ring, and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. We're gonna do that a total of 11 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We'll get some more yarn here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. We're going to join where we began with a slip stitch to close the round. Just like that, okay? Now, I wanted to also point out, this tail from when we started, I held along the edge of this circle, and that wove it in as we went along. So at this point, you can pull that to tighten, and that'll close up that hole in the center. Okay, so our next round is going to be a color. So whatever color you choose, I'm gonna do red for my first color round. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your scissors, break the yarn, and fasten off. I'm gonna be rejoining my yarn by simply just tying it on. If you have a preferred method for joining yarn, feel free to do that at this point as well. So we'll just put our white aside for a moment until we're ready for the next round. And this end that I pulled to tighten, we can go ahead and trim that and get it out of the way, okay? So let's move on to the next round. 
we're going to be working into the spaces. If you look at our circle, these little holes at the top are the stitches, but we're going to be working in between the posts, the spaces, okay? So just insert your hook in between any space really and bring up the new color and just tie it right on. Okay, we're going to weave the ends in as we go along and that will save us a ton of work at the end. So just go ahead and tie that right on, just like that, okay? So let's just hold these ends in as we work. Okay, next insert your hook into that same space and bring up a loop. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. In the same space, we're going to work a double crochet. We can slide those over if we need to. In the next space, we're going to work a double crochet. And then another double crochet. So two double crochets in that space. Get some more yarn. Okay. The next space, we're going to work two double crochets. So we're going to keep doing this all the way around our circle. Two double crochets in each space. Okay, I'm going to continue working my two double crochets in each space all the way around. And we'll rejoin in just a moment. So we're just coming up to the end of the round. And again, we work two double crochets in each space. When you get to the end of the round, you're just going to join with a slip stitch to close the round. So it'll look something like this. And our dishcloth is starting to grow. Next, you'll break the yarn, fasten it off, and we'll keep this tail, we'll weave this in as we go along. We're going to switch back to the ecru and we're going to tie it on the same way as we did previously and do the same thing. Insert your hook into any space around, bring the new yarn through and you can go ahead and tie that right on. Okay, reach back in and we're going to hold these tails along the edge so they can get woven in as we go along. Reach back in with your hook and bring up a loop. Then chain three. One, two, three. In the next space, which happens to be in between these two stitches here, we're going to double crochet. then chain one. We're going to do this in every space all the way around. Double crochet, chain one. Next space, double crochet, chain one. Double crochet, chain one. And again, I'm holding these tails in as I'd work. Double crochet, chain one. We're going to do this all the way around and we'll rejoin again when we get to the end of the round. Okay, so we're just coming up to the end of the round and again, we worked a double crochet, chain one in each space. Okay, so we're just going to join with a slip stitch same way we've done before to close the round. Okay, the next round of our dishcloth is still worked in the same ecru, so we don't need to cut the yarn at this point. So we're going to work a chain three, one, two, three, and in that first space there that you are up against, work a double crochet. Again, we're working in the spaces, not the stitches, okay? Next space, 
work two double crochets and we're going to work two double crochets in each space all the way around our circle. So let's get some more yarn here. And we're just working two double crochets in each space all the way around. Okay, I'm going to keep working these two double crochets in each space and we will rejoin towards the end of this round. We're just finishing up this round. And again, we just worked two double crochets in each space all the way around our circle. So it's looking more and more like a dishcloth with every round we work. So we're just going to work a slip stitch to close the round. The last round of the ecru will be single crochet stitches. So to work the next round, we're not going to cut the yarn. We're going to stick with the ecru and we're going to work a single crochet in each space all the way around our circle. Okay. So in this first space you come to insert your hook, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, Bring it through both loops. That's the single crochet stitch. So just work a single crochet all the way around your circle in each space. And this is going to give a nice sturdy clean edge in which to add our color around when we move on to the next round. Okay, so we're just working a single crochet all the way around our circle. So here we are at the end of this round. And I'm just putting the very last single crochet. Then we'll just do the same thing we've done before and join with a slip stitch. We're now ready to switch colors and begin this pretty open pointed edging that we have here. Okay, so all you're going to do to begin the next round is to cut the yarn, fasten it off, and you're ready to begin the new round. This round is a little bit different because in previous rounds we've worked our stitches into the spaces. This round we'll be working into the stitches. So the spaces were these holes in between the posts, for example, but we're going to be working in the stitches. Those are these smaller holes at the top. You can see I'm pointing with my hook. Okay. So let's tie the new color on. The last two rounds of our dishcloth will be worked in what other, whatever color you choose. Okay. So just insert your hook into any of the stitches. Bring the new yarn through and tie it right on. Okay. Again, we're weaving our ends in as we go along. So we're going to reach in with our crochet hook, bring up a loop. Okay. Then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, let's get our yarn ball out of the way here. Then we're going to skip two stitches. So one, two, and in the next stitch, we're going to work a single crochet. Okay, so it's going to form this kind of loop here. Okay. Next, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Skip the next two, tishes, two, two stitches. One, two. In the next stitch, work a single crochet. And then chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to do this all the way around. So skip the next two stitches, 
one, two, in the next stitch, work a single crochet. Then chain four, one, two, three, and four. Skip the next two in the stitch after that, single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Skip the next two in the stitch after that, work a single crochet. So you can see we're forming the loops in which we'll work the next round into. Okay, so we're just going to keep going all the way around. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the next two, single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip two single crochet in the next. One, two, three, and four. Skip two, one, two, single crochet in the next. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Skip two in the stitch after that, single crochet. Then chain four, two, three, four, Skip two in the stitch after that, single crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip two, single crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip two, stitch after that, single crochet. I'm gonna keep going and we'll rejoin towards the end of the circle. When you get to the end, just join with a slip stitch, the same way we've done before. Okay, so we're gonna stay with the red and then move on to the next round. Okay, we've arrived at the very last round. This round will be achieving these pretty points that you see all around the edge, okay? And to do that, each one of these loops that we've created in the previous round, we're going to be working three single crochets, chain two, three single crochets, okay? So in each one of these loops, we'll be doing that. So insert your hook into, right into the loop, bring up a loop. Yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. So that's one single crochet, two, and three. Okay, if you need to push things over, that's okay. Chain two, one, two, and then three more single crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so let's move our hook aside. You can see our first peak is complete, and it looks really fantastic, and it's the red and white is rather striking, I think, too. So we're going to move on to the next one. We'll do a few of these together. So three single crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. Then three more single crochets. All in the same space. One, two, and three. Okay, so our second point is complete. It's looking pretty good. So let's pull a little more yarn out. We'll do one more peak together. So three single crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and then three single crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so we're just gonna keep doing this around the entire circle, and then we'll rejoin towards the end of the round. So I'm just working this very last peak of our dishcloth. And again, we worked three single crochets, 
chain two, three single crochets in each space. So I'm just doing that very last one. And it's looking just like our other dishcloths. And when you're finished, you can just join with a slip stitch the same way we've done so far with every other round to close. And then you're all finished. So you can just break the yarn and fasten it off. Now you'll have an end when you stop where you left off and any other ends. I had a few ends left over, so you can just take your tapestry needle, go ahead and thread that, and then weave in any ends that you have left. There we go, I just wanted to get that knot out of the way a little bit. Okay, so when you're working um, a project that has it's a little snug through here, there we go. If you're working a project that has multicolors, be sure you weave the right color into uh, the same color. So we're going to weave the red into the red sections and the white into the white sections, for example. That way you won't see this, this red thread traveling through the white area. Okay, so then when you're finished, you can just snip that little tail and then save your scraps for later. And then you can weave the other ends in if you have other ends. So that is how you crochet the Lotus Bloom dishcloths. Now we have a full collection and a complete rainbow. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching. And be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.